Coach, gotta nail this jump if I'm gonna win gold in the cold fest at the Rocky Talkie Resort. Can this please, please, please be the last time? I have to pack for Hawaii. Copy that. Ready when you are, Shawnee. We're good to go. Oh, oh! oh yard sale! Yard sale? Where? I got all my best vintage buys at yard sales. No, it's what you call a wipeout, where everything just goes flying, like what Polly just... Polly! I didn't doubt you for a second. What? I'm serious. Go big! Polly Pie! Yeah, Dad? Time to hit the Rocky Talkie Mountains. Oh, hi, Lila. Shawnee? Ooh, loving that ski suit, Mr. P. Rad Dad all the way. <laughs> Thanks, Lila. Fit me in 1986 and still fits today. <laughs> We're leaving at 20 hun! Yeah, my plane leaves soon too. <gasps> Gotta pack. I got you covered. A stylish and practical outfit for each event. Oh, at least you two have places to show off your spring break wardrobes. I'm stuck on a staycay. If you think Littleton's dull all school year, just wait until everyone's gone for spring break. <gasps> Consider yourself lucky, Lila. Time at home means you can catch up on movies and books and finish writing that fanfic you've been working on. More like counting down the minutes till you guys get back. Don't worry, we'll be talking tons. I need my fashion coach and my sports coach to survive gold in the cold fest. We'll get you some cool souvenirs, promise. Oh, just remember, jewel tones with my complexion. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah! Hope Rocky Talkie's prepared for their yearly dose of Pierce Pocket. Yeah, that's something no one can prepare for. I love that this place never changes. I hear you, hun. Watch it! You'll burn your behinds. Grandma, you made it! I promised that I wouldn't miss another trip to Rocky Talkie. There's no time to waste. I want to hit the hot tub, then the skating rink, then the hot tub, then the ice sculpture exhibit, all before a relaxing sunset dip in the hot tub. <laughs> I like the way you think, Pierce. He's so cute. What's his name? Uh, Paxton, my baby brother. Oh, ew. And you're coming with me. Hey, we're practically the same person. Genetics. I need to train for gold in the cold fest. Gotta work out the border cross kinks. I'll join you, Polly. Let's put on our winter duds and hit the powder. Yeah. Fair warning, I've seen some stiff competition around here. That's why I've been having some pocket-sized practice. Every year that we come here, I've watched the gold in the cold fest and dreamed about winning the gold. Now that I'm old enough to compete, I'm gonna give it my all. Shawnee, having fun in the sun? Yes! I 
just saw two dolphins jump over a sailboat under a rainbow. I'm also having a marvelous time on my couch watching movies with Bonita. We just finished Quacknophobia, the heart-wrenching story of a boy and his fear of ducks. Ooh, I've been meaning to stream that. So, is the coaching staff almost ready for our first practice run? Indeed. Hold it. Show me the threads. Ooh, that's so sizzling. It might melt the snow. Thanks, Lila. Wish me luck. Camera check. Mic on. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Grandma? Everything okay? Grandma? I, um... Lila, Shawnee, I'll call you back. Grandma? Uh, wouldn't you rather get some hot chocolate, dear? Sure, Grandma. Let's warm you up. <gasps> the Gold in the Cold Fest trophy! Cool! Wait, is that you? Indeed it is. Two-time champ. But that was a long time ago. I can't believe you didn't tell me. Well... Let's just say my last competition wasn't my best. In the first event, my figure skates were twisting and turning, light as a feather. The luge course was extra icy that day, and I was on my game. Then came the final event. The race was close. Griselle Grande and I were neck and neck the whole way, but then... It happened. Somehow my ski caught an edge. A classic yard sale took a big tumble, lost my equipment and the competition. And now, every time I put on my skis, well... Grandma, I had no idea. Sorry, dear. I thought I could get over it. But being at the top of that run with you made it all come back. I've been trying to forget that fall for over 50 years. And yet, sometimes it's all I think about. What went wrong? Don't worry, we'll get you back on the slope soon enough. But first, Coco. Liquid chocolate has solved many a problem. Did you see me wipe out? My equipment flew everywhere. Of course I saw it. Your ski pole nearly pegged me. But it did give me an idea about how we'll finally get that locket. After Polly wipes out and her equipment is spread all over the mountain, <laughs> we'll run down and steal the locket! Gigi, you've done it again! No names! I'm Coach Drizel, and you're Gwendo Forfia. We're from somewhere else. Now, it's time for us to make that pocket girl wipe out! It'll be the biggest and best yard sale of the year! <laughs> more, Gwen, more! <laughs> Babushka! Sorry about earlier. I was taking a tour down memory lane. All good. Everything okay? Think so, but it's a long story. Whatever you do, please do not tell me you are hiking up a volcano in the most majestic setting on Earth. Okay, I won't. But you are, right? Uh, yeah. So, are you ready, Polly? I hope so, but I didn't get to do a border cross practice run. Grandma was frozen stiff with fear. Turns out she competed in gold in the cold fest, too. Wow! Cool! Not the fear thing, but the gold in the cold fest thing. Go on! But she wiped out. And now, I'm gonna do everything in my power to win this thing for her and restore glory to the pocket family name. Gold is my favorite color, and if you're going to win it, we need to get to work. Absolutely. Whoa, Mom, watch out! Your feet! Sorry, call you right back. The annual Spring Break Gold in the Cold Fest competition is about to begin. Contestants, please make your way to our first event, Figure Skating! Pretty good. Hold the phone. Literally. Outfit check. Perfection. Remember, the end of your routine is the most difficult, so keep hydrated and stretch. Copy that, coach. Shawnee, why are you yelling? And what's that sound? You're in a helicopter. 
here, aren't you? Next up, Polly Pocket. Double P's, P squared. It's called alliteration, Jack. I'm up. Gotta go. You can do this! More importantly, how much do the judges love your outfit? <laughs> oh no! Try to regain your balance! Stay low and extend your arms! <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, Grandma. Oh, no worries, sweetie. You'll get him on the next one. <laughs> I fun! I fun! I really fun! <laughs> Be safe, Polly! Yeah, what she said. Safety first. Johnny, you there? Camera check. Hi! Looks good. How you feeling? I'm okay. I had a big breakfast, and before you ask, yes, it included one of your banana smoothies. And the protein bars I gave you for extra energy? Got them. How are the conditions? I've developed a complex matrix to analyze every variable and possible outcome for your run. According to my stats, riders are having the most trouble with two tricky turns. If you maintain focus, watch your speed, and lean hard into those turns, you should be able to avoid a wipeout and win the race. Thanks, coach. Don't forget to lean! I'm so bored. I painted my nails like 400 times already. Lila, shh! Polly is in the middle of her run! Whoops! Go, Polly! Hey, Lila! Oh, the second turn is coming up, but slow down! You're going too fast! Johnny, the track was tampered with. That sounds so unfair. Ah! Uh-oh. I'm looking at the Rocky Talkie weather report. A big storm is approaching. Ugh, even the weather is against me? Is it weird that even though I should be parasailing over a sunset right now, I'm having more fun hanging with my best friends? Oh, that's the cutest. Aw, oh, Shawnee. But I have to be honest. I don't feel good about this event. Polly Pocket! I've seen footage on every racer here, and you're the best by far. Chin up! Preach on, sister. We know this course inside and out. Every twist and turn, every icy patch to avoid. Combining your skills with my instructions... And my style. We can't be stopped. I'll be there every step of the way to guide you. Now get out there and crush this thing! Let's do it! Oh! I'm okay! Thanks, Shawnee. <sighs> I feel better. Ish. Storm's blowing in fast. Can I get a status update, Coach? Coach? We need an update here. Shawnee? You there? Lila? Anyone? Hello, Hello Gold, Gold and the Cold Festers! After the first two events, Gwendo Furfia leads the pack, but there's tight competition for everyone except Polly Pocket. Winner of the name game, but last place in Gold and the Cold Fest, the game that actually matters. Riders, please make your way to the starting line. This one is the main event! The creme de la creme! The big kahuna! The... I need a vacation. Oh, you've had some tough luck, dear. But don't worry, if you win the final event, you still have a shot at a medal. Not the gold one, but a medal nonetheless. I'm in last place, it's storming, and I lost my coach. Oh, what's the use? Sorry, Grandma, but 
I quit. Polly, please, you can't quit. But you did. Maybe this mountain wasn't meant for the Pocket family after all. I don't want you to go down the same road, or in this case, the same hill that I did. Please don't quit. You might regret it for the rest of your life. Fear isn't the answer. I'm not afraid. I'm just... Uh, a little scared of the complete and utter humiliation that awaits. We all have to face our fears eventually. Just trying your best is success in itself. Okay, I'll race, but only under one condition. Borders, take, take your, your marks. marks. Get, Get set! set. Now lean hard into the turn. Thanks, Coach Grandma. Hold on! Great job! The pockets are back on the slopes! What's next? After this straightaway, big right turn. You've got this! Listen closely, Gwen. This is imperative. Make sure Polly is in first when you get to the midpoint of the race. Let's just say she won't know what hit her. Copy. Copy what? I'll have to take that as a yes. Move it, slow border. Don't pay any attention to her. This is your race, Polly. We're gaining on her. No, 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 no! That's not what I want! Grandma, hang on! Out of the way! It's coming right for you! Use the locket, Polly! That's it! Great race, honey. You tried your best. I can't believe I lost. I can. Uh, Pax agrees. Hey, cool it, Pierce. Not the time. I'm proud of you, Polly. Even though you didn't win, you did the right thing saving that girl. Thanks, Grandma. You were a pretty stealthy navigator. We'll get him next time. But what was with that snowball? That wasn't some random rogue snowball. Something is going on here. I just can't put my finger on it. What in the name of... I won, Gigi! I really won! No names, Gwen! I said no names! Gwen! Grisel Grande? I knew there was a certain stink in the air. How dare you sabotage this competition? Wait, do you mean sabotage today's competition? Or the one she sabotaged when you were kids? Pardon me, young lady? Yeah, you know, when you were a kid, she sabotaged your race, too. And today, we sabotage Polly's together. Family tradition. Oh, that was a secret, right? How do you live with yourself? Just fine. I'm a great roommate. You cheated? Yes, I did. But you can't prove a thing. I won and Gwen won. That gold in the cold fest trophy is coming with us. I don't think so, Grizel. Wait! Are you filming this? Every incriminating second. Your ski pass has officially expired. But you can't prove a thing. I want... You can't prove a thing. Cheating? In sports? Well, this just won't be tolerated. Unhand me! This is no way to treat a former Gold in the Cold Fest Grand Champion! Not anymore! We're stripping you of your title! Eight, nine, 
ten. Ha! Huh. Same as the fingers. What do you know? Lila, what's up? Still loving every minute of the staycation? I'm bored. It's terrible. What are you doing? It looks like you're having fun. Oh, nothing. Just a little gourmet picnic by a spectacular waterfall. Please tell me my souvenir isn't one of those silly shirts. <laughs> of course not! But you're a medium, right? <gasps> oh, it's Polly. Let me add her. Hey, I'm on my last run of the day and just wanted to call and say this trip has been really great, but I miss my girls. I miss you both, too. Oh, really? So do I. You're never going to believe what happened. I got Grandma back on the slopes. The competition didn't exactly work out, but I really stepped up on my last run. If there's one thing I learned from Quacknophobia 2 Return of the Quack, it's that winning isn't everything. And ducks love pickles. Anyway, I want to hear every little detail when you get back. Hurry home, please. Bye. Polly, wait! What size are you? They're gonna love them. Ready, Polly? We'll hit the border cross course one more time, just for fun. Looks like Grandma got her groove back. Hey, wait up, Speedy McSpeedster! Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a yard sale. The pocket sports gene clearly skipped a generation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay! Please? Can we please stay in the park for Rainbow Funland Soar and Snore Sleepover? It's our last chance to win the scavenger hunt and open the Unicorn Castle! I don't know, Polly. Your mom and I haven't seen you all day. You're seeing me right now. Uh, but we're supposed to have our spaghetti dinner. You remember? <sighs> Like the one we had after we took this photo last time we were here. But you two haven't recreated yet. <laughs> wow. Look how little you two were. Not anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at a bulge. It's a great memory, Mom. That's what vacations are all about. Making memories. And what better new memory to make than staying for the Sorn Snore, finishing the scavenger hunt, and unlocking the Unicorn Castle? Please! Ah, the puppy dog eyes of doom! Oh, okay, okay, you can stay. Yeah! <laughs> Fine, you can stay. But Pierce will stay with you. What? what? Me? Him? Why? Pierce hates Rainbow Funland so much that he broke my irreplaceable vintage unicorn horn! Oh, why am I being punished because Dad can't resist the puppy dog eyes of doom? I'm weak and I'm sorry. So, it's settled. The girls stay, and so does Pierce. And all the quality time will force Polly and Pierce to make up. <laughs> I married a parenting genius. Oh, what did I do in a past life to deserve this? Opportunity to spend some quality time with my favorite sister. Soar and snore. Soar and snore. Let me take a photo of that pic. Maybe I can convince Polly and Pierce to recreate it tonight. Thanks, Lila. The official, exclusive, and irreplaceable Soar and Snore Lantern Collectible. Oh, <gasps> yes! Actually, I'm here to keep an eye on my sister and her friends. I'm just a selfless, caring older brother like that. Uh, you have spinach in your teeth. <laughs> I do. I mean, I do. I, I was, uh, you know, saving it for later. Didn't know if there was gonna be food at the shindig, and I'm in the bulking phase. Okay. Wow. I ate a spinach corn dog for lunch yesterday. So, you've been in there a long time, little guy. Impressive. Mm. <laughs> oh, your plan to get Pierce and Polly to make up was oh, chef's kiss. <laughs> I guess I really am a parenting genius. <laughs> <laughs> Set up camp? Check. Now we can get down to business. I 
figuring out the next scavenger hunt clue. The star has to lead to something in the park. Maybe something that can only be seen at night? Northland dragons rise! Seriously, dragons are so cool. <laughs> I could make that wish come true. I'm going to bed. Good. You can't break my things if you're asleep. Come on, girls. Uh, where do you ladies think you're going? Uh, we were just. Uh, uh, uh. You've got to stay in the designated soar and snore area. Plus, you wouldn't want to miss a s'mores. Oh, s'mores? <sighs> we love s'mores, but I think we're just gonna. Hit the hay. Really? Really? Ah. <sighs> really? I'm so tired. Yeah, I could probably use a nap. The sugar rush from that chocolatey, marshmallowy goodness would keep me up all night. Tiny power! This way, we have a scavenger hunt to finish. Uh, oh, so we're not taking a nap? You don't think Pierce will notice we're gone? My non-brother brother sleeps like a log in the middle of the forest wearing noise-canceling headphones. She's ready to get fantastical! And you can't get more fun than s'mores! <gasps> the s'mores have been destroyed! Hmm, I wonder what happened there. Maybe we should investigate. No time. We've got bigger fish to fry. Of the unicorn scavenger hunt variety. Come on! Go big! working, missing s'mores, and now there's a power outage? Oh, what should we do, Nathaniel? Figure out a way to get the lights back on. I'm one more disaster away from having to shut down Rainbow Funland for good. <gasps> no! Rainbow Funland is going to go out of business if we can't figure out what's going on here. Or who's going on around here. Good thing I brought my magnifying glass. Hmm. Those are definitely glitter ferret tracks. Come on! Ooh, who knew a gift kiosk could give a girl the heebie-jeebies? They're just stuffed animals. See? Ah! It's that ferret from the unicorn farm! Who knows where that drain could lead? We're about to find out! There's my Farley. Oh, it is hotter than an ogre's armpit in there. <gasps> Darlene? It's her. How goes the old sabotage, Farley? Nathaniel will get what he deserves once we take down Rainbow Funland for good. Sabotaging the park is the key to my entire plan. 
Okay, okay. I know the plan has holes, but what do you want? Hmm. I just think holes. they up all by myself. Key. <gasps> That's it! Yes! I can't believe it! I did it! Woohoo! Oh! Well, dang nab it, Farley! You must not have chewed through the wires enough! Well, I am gonna need you to get chewing again. That is step 873, you know. 874 starts first thing in the AM. Come on. Shouldn't we keep listening as the unicorn lady reveals her dastardly plan to the ferret? But I know how to find the next scavenger hunt clue. Let's go. Uh, I really could have used that s'more sugar rush right about now. Go big! I think we just made a memory. There! The dragon statue! What? No! Why won't you work? The keyhole is in the dragon's heart. Maybe that means something. But we don't know anything about dragons. But we know someone who does. You mean my non-brother brother? No way am I going to ask for his help. There's got to be some other way. Maybe we weren't meant to open the <laughs> unicorn castle after all. <laughs> oh, does this have to happen right now? It's not even dawn! Tiny power! I am a very busy banker, and when I say I want to see the progress, I want to see it now. Okay, um, as you can see, the blueprints are really great. I just need to work out a few kinks to get it running. And why should I trust that you can do that? Ever since your partner left, it's been downhill. No one wants to go to a theme park where the rides are constantly breaking. They aren't breaking, they're being broken. Please, if you just- You have until tomorrow night to get this ride running. Wait, please! Likely given the day and the placement of the package, that this is for me. Go big! <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Come on, we're taking you to the Sweetie TV's candy factory for the science of candy making tour. Oh, I love science and candy. We're really going to the place where they invented the most regal candy of all time, Queen Worm. Remember the first time we had one? <laughs> Go introduce yourself, Shawnee. Try sharing this queen worm candy. Hi, I'm Shawnee. Do you like candy? Mmm. I'm Polly, and this is Lila. Want to be our new best friend? Hello. Uh, I'm here too, you know. <laughs> I'm excited for the Sweetie Teethy Science Tour, but I really do wish I could dig up one more queen worm. Queen worm sounds royally gross. Why haven't I heard of it? Seriously? You don't remember the commercial? On a throne of pretzels, caramel, and chocolate, one gummy worm rules all. Queen worm. Pitchy and doesn't ring a bell. Well, they stopped making them a long time ago. Less talking about candy, more getting to candy. A popular candy canceled? Hmm. Aha! I knew it! The queen worm candy is at the center of the Littleton candy conspiracy. Some believe that the queen worm was so good it had to be stopped. Others say all the queen worm candy was taken by a secret organization. Still, others believe that the queen worm is the primary food for a race of lizard aliens. Oh, there's the tour guide. What? There are no tour guides and conspiracy theories. I... Oh, I see. Hello, can you tell me about the queen worm conspiracy? Uh, what queen worm conspiracy? That's exactly what someone trying to hide a conspiracy would say. I know it hasn't been sold for a while, but is there any way we can get a queen worm candy on the tour? Any at all? No, they're all gone. 
Oh, oh, for reals? Is that because lizard people ate them all? Mm? Uh. Oh, greetings. Let's begin our scientific explanation of candy. Yes! It's my birthday and I'm ready for science. Oh, birthday girl, huh? Here you go, birthday girl. <clears throat> this is where the magic happens. Cool swag. Our high-tech factory floor is fully automated. No people allowed. To ensure no contamination of the candy, if a person is detected, robotic security is alerted. Now, single file to the lecture hall. No one told me there would be a lecture! Best birthday ever! The secret to making delicious candy is science. Yes! Woohoo! Go science! First, let's examine the melting point of chocolate. Chocolate typically melts around... When we passed the candy factory floor, what did you see? Our chance at fun slipping away? No. A pretzel twister, caramel, chocolate... <gasps> All the things we'd need to build our own queen worm! We have to sneak in there to make Shawnee her favorite candy for her birthday. And uncover undeniable evidence of conspiracy? Let's do it! Isn't this amazing? Totally. But I need to go, uh, go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, me too. And I also have huh? to use... Sounds good. See ya. Tiny power! Remember, there's automatic sensors and robotic security all over the factory. We have to stay tiny. First thing we need is twisty pretzels for the throne. <laughs> Treat on that conveyor belt! Come on! <laughs> now we're rolling in dough. Ew! These pretzels haven't been cooked yet. Or twisted. They're about to be, and so are we! <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry! <laughs> Popping candy is made by exposing hot candy to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Carbon dioxide trapping gas inside the candy! Yeah, right again, birthday girl. <laughs> I'm too young to be cooked! Lila! Holly! Nick! Time! Hurry! You saved us! Huh. Nick just gave me this weird feeling in my chest. Gratitude? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it was just a gas bubble. These will work for the Queen Worm Throne. <clears throat> now we need the next ingredient. Caramel, down there. Let's go! Woohoo! Ooh, should we go with more of a Rococo style or modern minimalism? Function over form, Lila. I'll hold the seat, you two hold the sides. Here it comes! <laughs> we made it! On to step three, chocolate! Oh. <laughs> oh, this totally bites! Nick, of course you're a genius! What? <laughs> Holy! Oh, no. <laughs> Now, how do we get to the chocolate? Oh, there's the bat. Grab some licorice for rope, and we'll dip the throne. Careful! Fall into the vat of boiling chocolate, and you'll be a literal hot mess. That's 
a check for chocolate coating. Let's pull it back up. A little help! Lila, do you see what I see? Gummy worms! Think we can swing it? Nick, hold tight. You're going for a ride. Was right. Wormtastic! Wow. You just put baking soda soaked worms into vinegar for this experiment. Excellent. All hail Queen Worm! Now all we have to do is just get this delicious diva to Shawnee. If that's where the candy gets out, that's where we get out. <laughs> Body control scan initiated. Human contamination detected. You shall not pass. Trying to keep their secrets safe? Conspiracy confirmed. <laughs> Must destroy unauthorized candy. <laughs> Nick, use your body to shield us from the lasers! Hey! Leave the throne and run! Tiny power! Go big! Holly! I can't believe it. After all that, we lost the queen worm. No time to worry about that now. We have to get back to Shawnee before she notices we're gone. Go big! Here's a free sample of our newest candy. Oh, how the fun. gooey, chewy, oh, kablooey. Yes. Shawnee! Wasn't that amazing when we made the worms dance and experiment with the poppy candy and the giant... Uh, Shawnee, we haven't... Yep, what a great science tour. I just wish we could have found a way to get you a queen worm candy for old time's sake. It's okay, Polly. It wasn't really about the candy. It was about the memory. And now we have this. The gooey, chewy, kablooey? A new candy to mark new memories, new friends, and a new birthday for the world's sweetest birthday girl. Mm. Hmm. It's no queen worm, but it's tasty in a different way. A good candy to mark the best friends and best birthday a girl could have. Mm. This is nice. I guess I should have just enjoyed the candy instead of worrying about... Lizard person alert! Conspiracy confirmed. Queen! a rough landing, but at least we're here. Big Tell should be right around this hedge. So excited she finally invited us over. I know. I can't wait to see Big's house. Wow. <gasps> Make that Big's castle. Hey, Polly, Lila, Shawnee. Big, this place is amazing. Yeah, but what's up with the party tent? I thought we were just hanging out. We are, but we're hanging out during a little shindig. Whoa. Did you buy out every florist in Littleton? How many tears does that cake have? There's an ice sculpture of you! This is a little shindig? Little shindig? It's the grand Bigowski ball. Girls, this is my mom and dad. And I probably should have told you. <laughs> that you're secretly a princess? Princess? <laughs> Don't be silly. Bella's a duchess. Mom! Call me big or all my friends, remember? So, the Bogowski Ball is sort of a big deal. <laughs> I should say so. It's a coming-of-age tradition for our family. <laughs> and Grandmother Belladonna is coming all the way from the old country for the occasion. She'll be here any minute. Darling, we must go check on all the things. I'm so glad you could join us. Please, help yourselves to gowns from the ball closet. Uh, big? Why didn't you tell us about the party in your honor? I don't know. I guess I just wanted you to all treat it like a normal hangout day, and 
Now think about how everything has to be so fussy and perfect. Well, this ice sculpture sure looks perfectly like you. But I gotta be perfect and perfectly perform a bunch of very fussy, fancy tasks. There's a dinner where I gotta keep up with fancy people conversation and have proper table manners and know which fork goes with which of the million courses. And then at the end of the ball, if I've done everything perfect, Grandmother will give me the Bigowski tiara. Ooh, tiara. Uh, I'm just not into frilly stuff. I wouldn't even know how to walk around with something like that tiara on my head. Ooh. Ah! Got it. Oh, see, maybe I shouldn't even. No try. way! You can't give up when there's a tiara on the line. I've read all the Princess Pineappleine books. I could help you be a proper princess. What? Technically a duchess. A duchess in a tiara. Grandmother Belladonna Bogowski, our family's reigning matriarch and the lady I'm named after. Oh, is that a... Oh, oh dear. Can't have you tripping on that. Mother. Oh. <laughs> Lord Edward, Harry is uh, looking well. That's Sir Harry. Grandmother Belladonna! Bella, how tall you've gotten. Mm. Oh, and how strong. Let's get to work. There's a tiara on the line. And that's the difference between a snail fork and an oyster fork. There's a fork for everything. <laughs> Whatever you do, never eat anything with your hands. Any questions? Yeah. Do Princess Pineappleine books have any tips on memorizing things? It's the Bogowski Credo. I have to recite it tonight from memory, or it's bye bye Bogowski Tiara. Maybe you don't need to memorize the Credo to get the tiara. I can go micro and help you out. I can hang out in your ear and whisper all the stuff you need to say during the party. And Shawnee and I can be your hype girls. Huh. This could actually work. I just have to be totally not myself for the entire night. Everyone's looking at me. Yeah, they are. Because you're stunning. Remember to start from the outside in. Up first, salad fork. Okay, on your right is Cecilia Bogowski. She's your... Hey, I know you! Great Auntie Cece! Aunt Cecilia, whom I haven't seen for ages. I mean, Aunt Cecilia, whom I haven't seen for ages. <laughs> Big Truly is an outstanding member of Littleton Middle School. Wow, apple pie for dessert. A, a Littleton classic. The traditional Bogowski apple tart. Let ah, me get my pastry fork. The traditional fork. Bogowski apple tart. <laughs> Let me get my pastry fork. To the right, right. To the right, right? No, don't repeat. No, don't repeat. Uh, uh. <laughs> Woohoo! We should get the credo ceremony started shortly. But first, I need to powder my nose. And perhaps young Bella could use a freshen up as well. Young Bella, our girl of the hour. Do you need to powder your nose? Huh? Oh, I know this. Powder your nose is just fancy talk for using the restroom. Ah, nah, thanks. I made the bladder flatter before dinner. Bladder flatter? <laughs> I think it's just a little bit colloquialism, Edward. Uh, how about some actual powder, dear, on your nose? <laughs> Phew, they're finally gone. I thought the jig was up. Bad news, the credo slipped out of my hands and it's on Lord Edward's shoe! Uh-oh. Can't exactly pull it off there without him noticing. And I'm supposed to recite it after the next song. Okay, I can get it. Be right back. I'm hitching a ride on your empty glass. Huh. Darling, after dinner mint? Uh, sure. Just let me get my, uh, mint fork. Uh... Oh! Whoops. 
Sorry, you have a little fork right in your, uh... Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> mm. oh, really up in there, huh? <laughs> gotcha! Now to get you back to big before the end of the song. Sir Harry? Aw, you just want some snuggles. Who's a good kitty? <laughs> I know. I'll fish it out with my fish fork. <laughs> Lost another one. Young Bella's a bit rough and tumble, isn't she? Indeed. Always saying or doing the wrong thing. I never thought I would be passing my tiara to someone so much like me. <laughs> what? All those rough edges, never sure just how to stand, saying whatever comes to mind. Well, it all reminds me of me at her age. Oh, I hope this life doesn't turn Bella into someone she's not. Wow. Sir Harry, could you give me a ride? I gotta get back to Big. Tiny power! Hey, off the board for the win! Thank you, darling. Now, I should get into position for the Credo recitation. Hey, Big, I'm back. Holly, oh, you got the credo? No, I mean, yes, but you shouldn't try to be someone you're not. You should be yourself. But if I don't recite it now, I won't get the tiara. Who cares about some silly tiara? Just because I like tiaras doesn't mean you have to. I like you for you. And I think Grandmother Belladonna does too. But she barely knows anything about the real me. Then let her meet the real you. Hmm. Ready, young Bella? Uh, <sighs> no. And I'll never be. I'm terrible at all this stuff. The fancy talk, the fancy dress, and especially not the fancy credo. Have I let you down? Oh, heavens no! You remind me of my younger self. You weren't always so fancy? When I was your age, I would have rather been playing sports than going to a ball. You don't have to change for me to like you, or to be a true Bogowski. And you are my family no matter what. What about the credo? I'll never be able to memorize that thing. Oh, <laughs> me neither. That's why I always keep a copy in my pocket. Wow. Your dress has pockets? Of course. I may be less rough around the edges than I used to be, but I still like to feel a little comfortable. <laughs> and, and above, above all, all, being true, true to oneself, oneself is the Bogowski way. Come on, get your groove on, Eddie. I suppose. <laughs> Sir Harry, may I have this dance? <laughs> Is this cutting a rug, as they say? I had people call me big because I thought a fancy name like Bella only fit my fancy grandmother. So, from now on, call me Bella Bogowski. Mind shrinking this for me? Tiny power! <laughs> or Bella for short. Bella, I like it. And more importantly, you like it. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> yeah! Air conditioner. Stop! It's the middle of a heat wave, so we have to keep the AC on low power. Maybe it's my melty brain, but I'm not following that logic. If everyone in town uses even a little too much power for their air conditioning, there'll be a power outage and chaos will ensue. A tiny sacrifice can make a big difference. Tiny sacrifice, you say? Almost done. There! My AC exponentializer is complete. Genie, call Shiny and Lila. Hey, gals. Is it hot enough for you? Uh, I feel 
feel like I'm filled with lava. I'm so hot, I hardly want to correct you by telling you that magma is the proper term. Forget the lava or magma, or whatever. Come over for the ultimate cool-down sesh. Bye! And the finishing touch. No one will notice a few degrees. Ooh, this is so cool! Um, fishies? Don't worry, they're in a powered-down physiological state. Frozen solid, but alive and well. I am loving your Super AC Exponentializer. Total genius. I don't know about total genius. I just threw the Exponentializer over the vent and turned the AC a little higher, and my invention is a winter winner! It's amazing that you've been able to keep the freeze confined to your room. Um, yeah, amazing. All of this cold talk is making me want to warm up. Up for some chocolate in the form of piping hot liquid? Liquid is my second most favorite state of chocolate. Go big! <laughs> is it just me or does it seem strangely slippery in here? Based on my observations, your exponentializer made your room cold, but pushed even colder air throughout the whole house and froze the place. If it was frozen, could I lick this wall? Uh, uh, the, definitely frozen. At least Pax didn't break it yet. Oh no, it's, it's, what's the phrase? Blah, 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 chaos will ensue. Chaos, yep, chaos definitely ensued. <sighs> Heartbeat is strong, but slow. Like your frozen fishies. So we leave them outside to thaw and we're good. No, they're people, not ice pops. We have to thaw them with scientific precision. Thawing them correctly will be tricky, but the main thing is we don't panic. <gasps> Pierce is here! Everybody panic! Uh, tiny power! Hey, Mom, Dad, forgot my board. Can't skate without a board. Right, Dad? <clears throat> uh, that's right, son. You are very smart. I love the way you think. Speaking of my good thinking, I thought it'd be rad to get a half pipe for our yard. Uh, I can show you the one I want on my phone. Oh, no need, Pierce. Get whatever you want. Seriously? Thanks, Mom. All right, everyone. Pierce out. <sighs> that was close. So, now what? We'll have to reverse the exponentializer's effects ASAP. I could work on a fix with your 3D printer. I'll call it the de-exponentializerizer. What's with the second izer? Dramatic effect! Once we get this printed and put together, this device should thaw your family without the risk of side effects. A power outage? Hmm, that does sound familiar. Blah, 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 power outage! Blah, 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 blah. Uh, power's out for two seconds and it's already warming up in here. Oh, this is bad. Polly, you have to keep your parents frozen until we can find a way to safely thaw them out. Remember, an uncontrolled thaw equals floppy, blobby, sludgy parents. On it. Lila, you're with me. Shawnee, you figure out how to get the power back on. Already brainstorming solutions. <laughs> I could have shrunk her. Yeah, but then how am I supposed to get my reps in? We'll put them in the freezer. No, wait. If the power's off, the freezer won't be cold either. What should we do? Ooh, ice cream truck. Not a great time for a snack, Lila. My parents... No, Polly. The ice cream truck has a freezer on board. Hmm. But how are we going to get them in there? Get out. Ice cream inspector coming through. Never seen you before. And that makes two of us, honey. I just moved here from Iceland. Ah, huh. fair enough. But I gotta ask you a question only a real inspector would know. What shade of ice cream is your uniform? The strawberry dream cream. Impressive. Well done. But let's cut 
like the idle banter. I need to inspect your ice cruiser. But I'm not even using the bike today. Sorry, sister. Rules are rules. No, leave the door open! For reasons of confidential inspection business things. You'll be safe in here. Let me get my last maintenance log. No need to go into your truck. Tiny power! to inspect. Sorry, ma'am. But when I became an ice cream server, I promised myself that I'd promptly serve ice cream on hot days to any hungry customers with cash. And I'm gonna do that, even if that means breaking the rules and skipping an inspection. <sighs> Don't react. Positive thoughts. Cherry ice pop coming up. this speech, but I need to see your scooping certificate. Go big! Aha! Says here it expires next year. So how do you explain that? So gross! named Diane. Sorry I disrespected you earlier, ma'am. I assume it will be going on my permanent record? Nah. Us ice cream folk have to stick together, right? <laughs> but, like, not this sticky. A little tight. Go big! Okay, here goes everything. Wait! Oh, we might as well save the vase. Perfectly. Not even screwing up their molecular makeup a tiny bit. Now let's hide before they thaw out. <laughs> Who gives a baby a tennis racket? Wait, did someone change the AC settings? It's set to low power. Like you said, if everyone in town uses too much air conditioning, there'll be a power outage and chaos will ensue. A tiny sacrifice can make a big difference. Oh, you do listen to me. Two thousand dollars? Mom, the half pipe? We talked about this? Here's Gregory Pocket! <laughs> 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 